Elder here, and today we're going to play Nikos Room Chapter 1. I glance at the never seen before hallway. Oh, that's cool. Both sides seem to switch on forever. Rabbit masked person. Greetings, child of dust. That's great. Yes, it's my turn now. Huh? Oh, spicy. I'm the one asking the questions now. Oh, uh, okay. She guns so shapelessly. She's uncomfortable now that she's the one on the other side of the table. Now tell me. About him? About yourself? Huh? Huh? Uh, um, I'm Lucille Ellen Greenwood, born the May 17th May of 17th of May 1995. Yes, I'm familiar with the basics myself. Um, th then why? Uh, oh, that was Nico. 1.68 meters tall and 46 kilos in weight. Like starting in 12th place and height blow things. Uh, uh, yeah, but you have had trauma inducing stuttering alongside other problems, and your biggest fear is dying a slow, painful death. Do you need to tell us all about this? See? The best. The basics. But I'm not interested in learning more about you. I want to know more about yourself. What? I'll forever ask those under its watch this riddle. It's nonsense really, but I decided to testify something. If you are to strip away your personality, memories and experience, what would you be like? I am... Um, um... I'll be... Me. Curious? Are all humans genetically programmed to answer the same? I've yet to get a different one. Now tell me. About the outside. Or more exactly, what do you remember before ending up here? This is interesting. This is an interesting game. Um, I was, well, I was home, and, um, what exactly is your home? Could you describe it? Oh, uh, well, it's a flat and a, um, it was. Can anyone describe your home? Curious. She barely let out a word, but I have heard everything I needed. Now tell me. About your memories. Describe a person from your life. Um, so sure. Well, my mother was. She. She did. She was. Um. Oh, could you describe anyone else? I am. Um, no. No. Well, why? Yes, being here has some effects on you. And that's even without the brain writing routine you've done for a month. Uh. <laughs> now tell me. About him. Huh? Yes, a male individual I find quite peculiar. I have reason to believe he's linked to you in some way. A guy? We with me? Huh, I'm afraid I can be can link him to a name. So my description may be way too broad. Yeah. No, I I could never. That will matter will how unfortunate. I had high hopes in finding more about... Never mind that. Now tell me. Actually, that's all I need to know. How many pages was that? 10, maybe 26? It was nice, really. I hope this slightly out of character exposition part has proven to be helpful. With that out of the way, let's get to the real conversation, shall we? So, what did you want to talk about? Alright, child of the dust. Listen to me. This place is not meant to be inhibited by those of your liking. Even so, it seems that you have gotten way too comfortable here in my room. You might not realize, but your stay here is rotting your being. The fact that you've lost so long is a miracle. Worry not, as the caretaker of the handless clock, I'll be the one to get you out of here. Le leave? Now that I think about it, I'd never ever considered getting out of here. Because you want to be here. You're avoiding something, don't you? The mere thought of living gives me an unexplainable itch. The mere thought. 
It feels uncomfortable. Naka's expression leaves even more glancing at me muse. They lean forward just a little, but it's enough to feel them towering over me. Hesitant? Do not be. Being here will only run more bits of you. I perhaps this is what you desire. A pitch black coffin for you to lay in. It is peaceful. It's comfortable. It's easy. What more could one ask for? Go on. Dedicate yourself to the rot. I couldn't be less interested in your fate. I... I... I feel incredibly ashamed. How do they always manage to make me feel even smaller? An awkward silence falls upon us. They let our love safe. Hmm, but why ruin our peaceful tea party with such ugly words? Believe me, I do not wish to make our meetings unbearable. Speaking with us like you just happens to be incredibly daunting. My proposal requires me to help you, so let's do our best. Alright, propose, huh? I... I suppose. Oh, <laughs> that was marvelously easy. Now let's finally reach the subject. After one last of tea, Nicole is back in the chair. I feel uneasy what I have got myself into. Alright, listen well, for you must understand what I'm about to tell you. The reason you cannot leave is because there's no way out. Quite a peculiar circumstance to be in, isn't it? Um... I... I guess? Think about it, it does seem strange being in the room with no door in the first place. I don't think I've ever thought about it before. It's obvious, really. You'll like the will to get out, and the room knows that. Whatever dreads the outside provoke within you buried you, your will in the back of your mind. It lies there being buried deeper with each passing day. The plan is simple. We just have to get that will back. Get the... Uh, uh, <laughs> huh, I didn't ex even expect you to understand. Do not fear, this is when the fun part begins. From now on, I'll summon you in a nightmare every time you fall asleep and will traverse your subconscious in hopes of finding that will. Aha. Uh -huh. It were all the broken the pieces already, so we'll have to find all of them. For your own comprehension, I'll turn the pieces into flowers so you can spot them. Once we have all the pieces, the door will appear, you will get out, and I'll enjoy the sweet three minutes of silence before another humans come by. You could say that it's piece of cake, am I right? Um, e yeah, I guess. Now, the previous nightmare was a mess, really. I don't you saw any flowers there. But, this one has been placed in your subconsciousness somewhere among the places we'll search. I believe there may be at least one place pieces here. Oh, okay. However, these places are not limited to only one. Be sure to look for any additional one. R right. You may not get it or even refuse to, but I take solace in the fact that you'll do it regardless. <laughs> that turns particularly excited, but what's the come? I already forgot what we're talking about. Oh, there's something else I have for you. It'll like the process more efficient. They touch the set of their dress looking for something. I hammer myself at the thought of their next gift. The more I think about it, the more this whole thing seems like a fantasy book. I find that quite comforting. There, found it. What kind of silly things will help me in this journey? Magic glasses? A special flower? Another book? I don't see what kind of story will... Pills. They put pills on the table. What do you have shells in an orange tinted plastic bottle? The sight of them makes me ill. I kindly ask you to take two of these every day. They simulate a different all up which will make traversing nightmares more stable. No, no, I don't want to take them away. I don't want to even see them take them away. This might be a very questionable request, but our option is injection to the brain. And apparently humans do not like needles or having their brain brain primary tra trade up. This can be. Why? No. No, 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 no. Yes, quite unfortunate irony this is. I'd have asked you to read a level if you have any doubts. Well, I'll have them to put on, on table in the room. I'm unable to reach you from there, so I'll have to trust that you take them. But under no circum circumstances, circumstances, you should take more than the recommended does understood. They take the bottle, hiding it from my side. I let out a big gasp. I wasn't breathing for a few seconds. Oh. 
Well, that's all I want to talk with you about. So, how was this lovely tea party? I must confess I'm not all that fond of tea. This when one on your face was all I needed, must I admit. Well, our meeting is over, you may go now. But first, take this, shoo shoo. They threw a small object at me. To my complete surprise, I catch it in my hand. It hurt my hand a bit. What is it? I plan a padlock key. I found it lying around. It has no use for me, maybe you could use it. So then, I'll let you know. Look for any flowers as I've told you. They wave and turn their attention to Timmy, who's still betting in the cup. Next cup. What could I do with this key? Some sheet of paper stuck on the floor, attached to one top end. Unlock new Aquilipedia chapter. The page is self and thin here. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, sure, why not? Look for flowers. Flowers. And look for something to eat for that person over there, I suppose. Oh, the flower disappears. I think there's something kind of weird going on with the assets. But that's fine. There's nothing here. Is there nothing there? Really? How curious. I love the fact that we are already sprinting. So let's go here. Well, hello, hello. Enter, yes. That is very uncomfortable. And very quiet as well. We are transitioning to a new zone. No, oh, it's very dark here. An exit sign. The area makes no sense. A window. The outside shows nothing but darkness. The door is locked. The knob has started rusting. Uh, someone shall return this book to the library. Shall I write something in it? Someone should return it to the library and then you immediately proceed to write on it. Very interesting. Is that a hole or is that a person? A water fountain in the water is not coming out for some reason. But there's nothing ahead. Hello, is that a person? Are you a person? I cannot interact with you. How amusing. A trash can, it's empty. A supply closet, flies manual, ma ma manual, manuals, manuals, cables, nothing of use here. Alright then. Oh, we're in a desk with a flower on it. Yeah, sure. Obtain the white rose. Hey, that's me! Hello there, are you going to move or what? Miss Greenwood, please sit down. Sit down. The classroom goes silent in the sound of a pen whisper. Doors in my notebook do not link to each other. 
Every line I make with my pants gets stuck with the rest. A cold breeze blows around the room. Everyone keeps their head low. Okay, I think like the person top left, top left will move, or even if that's a person. I can never seem to get comfortable in this school. Something unpleasant has led me to being here. Has led to me being here. The words. Words will academy for girls. A prestigious school where the rich girls of London become someone. With high price and such reputation, it is said that most of the girls that studied here become eligible at Eton or Oxford, and later, be later become powerful women. I have nothing on this place. I've been studying at a public school my whole life. Such an esteem high school was alien to me. A fancy uniform, high quality education, and no annoying boys. It was too good to be true. It was scary but exciting. It felt like this school would bring something good in my life. It felt like the school would make me be someone. But as soon as I can draw out, I noticed something. The lessons were unbearable. The teachers spoke and their words were too big to fit in my ears. The days were never ending. It felt like I would never leave the school. The hallways were quiet. I could hear my footsteps echoing through the entire building. And this weren't even the worst part. Back at my old school, people weren't the kindest to me. The sly giggle and mean words were a daily occurrence. I thought a prestigious school for girls only would make my problems go away. But no, it doesn't. <laughs> not only did they did they not disappear, they took another form. A form way more subtle but even more hurtful. In here, no one giggles when I pass by them. No one whispers behind my back. No one calls me names. No one pushes me around. No one throws their foots in my hair. They never do anything really. They just... Stare. That is excellent. Miss my grief, please sit down. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you, Luz. I thought you meant missing or something. She wants me circling her finger across my face. Woo! What you doing? Learning? Ha! What a joke. Let's go. Sporadically entering the classroom and drafting the chair, that's just how Ashley is. Her behavior, behavior is often excused by the help she has given, staying in class until late, cleaning classroom, or assessing pictures with paperwork. She's not all that popular or even well liked, but I think she's cool. Realizing that I've been spacing out, I only notice her, her approaching my desk. So then, are you just going to sit here and look down until the next period starts? Come on, let's go. Uh, out? But the lesson is still going. What are you talking about, silly? The lunch break just started. Miss Magriff, please sit down. Actually, the bell didn't ring and the teacher is still here. There we go! Well, 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 the bell just rang. The lesson is over, let's go. Um, okay. Phoebe is waiting for us on the rooftop. Let's grab some snacks and go up and go meet, meet up with her. Grab your stuff and I'll be waiting for you in the hallway. Don't make me go without you. I get everything I need from the desk. Before I knew it, all of the girls left the classroom. So you are a person there. Uh, why am I not? Oh, because I'm not pressing the movement button. <laughs> I'm silly. Fascinating. Actually, that's, the chair has all sense of mas mascara. So that was actually the ask with a rose. Miss Greenwood, please sit down. My desk, I have already grab grab everything I need. No, why would I? Books about various school subjects, none of them pick my interest, quite the opposite. Uh... My game just closed. The, the game just closed for me. What? Okay, n now that's normal. 
I don't know what the way that happens. There you are. Christ, you must stop. Stop. The music is kind of jarring. Anyway, there's a vending machine down the hallway. Let's grab some snacks. I'll pay for them this time. Thank God. Didn't catch that. Did you say something? What? No, no, no. Hey. I think this is a reward for all the snacks you paid for. I, I guess. Not sure how this will account for two months of buying snake almost every day, whatever. We're wasting time here. Come on, lead the way. Ashley joined me in the epic request for snacks. Or maybe I joined her. What the hell? Uh, someone should return. Uh, that's why you say that. Still, why? Bloody hell, I've missed the lesson because this door won't open. Who, who locks the classroom door in the middle of the day? Have you tired but tried pushing instead of pulling? Very funny, Maygrave. Now go away. The door is locked, the number started rusting. Planning and skipping school. Too late. Phoebe is waiting for for us on the rooftop. The vending machine is down the, just down the hallway. Let's go. The girl is in the verge of tears. I I don't understand. I've been studying all week, but I can't understand the material. Oh, you all have jaws. I know, I know. Shocked. Try harder, or give up. What? What, what the hell? Don't ask you anything, my griff. Go better someone else. Uh, oh, why, Sniff? I can help but feel guilty. I want to say something, but my lips feel heavy. I'll look at Ashley. And Mr. Dipley of weakness, she looks... satisfied. Have I need enough? Get lost. I mean, I wanted to get in this school because of how well I was doing in an ordinary school. I'll be f more focused next time. Oh, hey, uh, Greenwood, right? Uh huh. Clever, your geometry notebook. I didn't. Sorry. She already gave it to me. And I left it at home. Oopsies. Maybe next time. What? Uh, but I, I said I'm sorry, okay? I'll bring it back next week, I promise. Oh, uh, it's fine, no worries. I'll just ask someone else. What, what the hell was that? How stupid can you be? I, I know that girl. I bought her b a book once and she scribbled all over it. I've bought her a book once. Wait, listen. You should thank me, really. I think it's Ashley speaking. Don't worry, I was missing a lesson, but I can get it from someone else. What? Are you following us? Yes, you're the only one following us. That's terrifying. Hi, Ash. What's the cheek? Hi, friend. Anyways, what you doing? I just heard the craziest thing ever, and I must tell you. You're the craziest thing ever every week, stupid. Whatever, tell me about it. Alright, so you know how most water fountain summer schools stop working one after another? Of course I do. Now I have to go out of my way to buy water. And just recently, a food truck conveniently started going around. And what does the truck also sell? Water. I heard from a friend of a friend that the owner stuck in the school at night and broke them so we can get go to his disgusting junk food truck and buy water. Water. How crazy is that? That's the stupidest thing I've heard all day, and might be actually what happens. Thank you for the waste of time, ma'am. Where are we going now? Well, I just want to let you know. Oh. Hem. Hey, it returns to our student, right? Uh, um. Y yeah? I've heard of you, but never seen you around. You're like a ghost fr from something. Listen, can you. Not interested? Come on, we have to go. Eh? I wasn't talking to you, my grief. So sure. I should grab her by the collar. Whatever you have to say, sip it anyways. Who do you think you are wasting our time like that? No one cares about you and your word is meaningless. No one here will be much happier without you. Oh. I I'm sorry. I was just... Oh, uh, please let me go. Fine, go cry in the bathroom. Slit your wrist too while you're at it. Don't give me that loot. She was gonna ridicule you or something, and you know that. Yeah, but, but, but still. 
All the rewards you are looking for are... Wow, Ashley, you are totally freaking right. Thank you. And did I say you're welcome? You are interesting. Huh, there's something here. Let's see what I can say, paper shit, chalk, dead rats. Hence, nothing of use here. Okay. We're not even in this classroom, all hack. <laughs> Miss Maker, please sit down. Oxford Pian P Piano Festival, 25th July for August 2011. At St. Hilda's College, Oxford. In collaboration with the World Will Academic for Girls and. And his poster has been here since last year. Ever since all recognition from Oxford University. What's with all the idolization, anyways? Oh, I know. I'm an expert just worshipping some other god and school is on it too. That's, uh, unlikely. Are you sure? Hmm. Well, I don't know how else I could explain all of this thick writing. A trash can is empty. Some sheet of paper stick in the desk. I touch one on top and... The wedge itself in the thin air. That's not weird to you? Okay. News article, couple of stories, announcement, and a petition to add pets in the bathroom. Yes, you think a rich school for girls would have considered that already? Yeah. My god. <laughs> why, why, why there's none in here? I spent all night finishing all of my homework. I'm so tired. Can relate. Damn. And so I took him back, and one thing led to another, and now I'm tutoring him in math. Good for you. Let's be honest here, he does not like you back. Don't say that. You haven't seen the way he winged at me. Yeah, because he wasn't winging at you. A back went right in his eye, he's in the hospital now. That Morris guy? I saw that too, it was gross. Ah! <laughs> don't, don't butt it like that, but in like that, Magriff. Yeah, that's rude. Ugh. Hey, hey. This girl won't stop staring at me. The hell are you looking at? Hello? I'm talking to you here. Hey, Ardif. Look at me, you cunt. <laughs> I should have shaken her my shoulder. Her eyes keep fixating on me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Quit it, you creepy lunatic. The shaking intense fights. The girl's head hits the wall and she falls on the floor. Her eyes remains open. That is very good. Uh, are we not going to talk about that? Trash can, it's empty. Here we are. Now let me just pull out my wallet and... Huh? <laughs> Wait, but I... God damn it. Um... I'll have my wallet at home again. Just how stupid of me. Oh well, I guess you have to pay for today. You don't mind, do ya? I... I guess. Sweet. Don't worry, I'll wear this one. I pull out my wallet and grab some money. I'll get... Three packets of Chris, so three pounds should be enough. Answer them one by one, each time being passed by a long heaming sun, followed by a ding. While waiting, a thug across the me. Um, Ashley. What's up? Uh, I've been meaning a thing. Before I, I can even find my words, a loud glitch stops me. The sun is so loud, it leaves my urine. Jeez, will they ever fix this piece of garbage? How do you tell me under if trap is set? In stroke. Come on, let's get the snakes and go. Ah. Uh, might hurts too much to even respond. I turn around feeling dizzy. I ask get some bags of chips and no one seems to mind. The button I always press has begun wearing down. <laughs> Is there no other student here or ordering chips? 
I press the button and nothing came out. Oh no. What's taking so long? I should forget how a vending machine works. No, but it's broken. Broken? Are you are you dumb? Did she even insert the money? I did and nothing happened. Here, let me try. We're just gonna keep it. No? What? What the? How annoying. Well, let's just go. No, this is stupid. Why won't this thing work? What if it explodes? Go! Why won't this bloody crap just... So stupid, so stupid. Work, you metal piece of... Well, that's the... I was expecting something horrible to happen, but I didn't expect it to be like that. Hey, exactly fucking three bags of chips. That's a, that's actually so funny, dude. A bag fell from the machine. I gave it from before. A bag. Is that important right now? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Very interesting. Miss McGriff is not even with me. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Should I proceed? Yeah, sure, why not? We get all the chips that we need. Hello. Plus, there you are. I've been looking for you, silly. Ah, you've bought snacks already. How sweet of you. Here, let me hold them for you. And her the bags are rather she sends you the bag from my hands. So let's go another if I shall be. We? we shall. Hider. You see them less? Eh? So sorry. We um have been whale looking in sons for a while. I shall roll her eyes and throw her gaze at the girls around us. Say do you see them looking at us? What who is? And by them. You must be blind to not notice the watchful eyes all around us. Uh, huh? What are you? I glance around, shamelessly eyeing the passing girls. In fairness, some people don't seem hesitant at staring at us. Ain't just me, right? The girls here in here see us as freak shows, never really blending with them. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Freak shows. That's the word actually offer, often used to describe how people see us. I never cared for my image. Pleasing all these rotten eyes is an impossible task. Her mate is not supposed to say her, but she holds the opinions of others painfully close. I fail to find the words to articulate what a waste of time that is. M maybe we just ignore it. Again? Are you really that stupid? She turns her head towards me, her eyes lock on mine. I try to break the contact with my eyes and end up laying back on hers wherever I look. Listen, maybe you can try to be obli oblivious to it, but I don't have that luxury. Girls with our situations are never that lucky. If you let them, them consume you whole, they will. I... I don't get what you're saying. The light you may can see it in your face. The stairs, the whisper, the breath, it gets to you, does it? The girls here are nothing but prestigious. I'll poke you, your, your every spot until they hit the weak one. 
The reality is that you are at the bottom of the food chain. Everything about you is weak spot, really, re really get punched. She got closer, slightly bracing my shoulder with hers. Why do you have me by your side? You will make sure you survive day by day, week by week. Because you are my friend and I care about you enough to make sure you survive this jungle of school. Aren't I the best, Lass? Tell me, am I your best friend ever? Yes? Hey, I know that, of course. Someone like you could never survive alone. You are still fairly new to the school, so innocent of the horror within. Eh. You are just exaggerating now. But am I really? Okay, I'm back. I was doing something quite a while, and I left the game open for hours, apparently. Oh, shit. Anyway, we are in this hallway, and there's a lot of whisper. But am I really? I've been here for a while. I found the best way to live day by day. Being my messiah will be your smartest choice yet. Never forget that. Ah, uh, alright. Ashley has always been since cool as a hostile environment. Whatever that says about her, I didn't quite get it. I mean, this school is indeed quite a hostile environment. I want to understand her, but I fail to reach her any time. Every time. What is it you struggle with, Ashley? Perhaps it isn't my problem to fix. Perhaps I shall just mind my damn business as she says. Hey, hey, best friend, I'll take care of each other, right? In fact, she hands me two bags of snacks. I grab them slightly hesitant. These are yours. I ain't all that hungry today, so you can have my bag. Aren't I so generous? Uh-uh, thank you. Mm. You look like you need them more than me anyways. For how long will you keep showing up to school this malnourished? Tell me your ways. I've been dying for a good diet. Oh. Uh, your mother, huh? I'm kidding. Not about the malnourished part, though. I can... I can be seen walking around with a stick bag. Tell you what, how about we go out for some ice cream this weekend? He called you some sunlight. Uh, y yeah, she sure. See? Best friends look out for each other, hey. I should have trust me a radiant smile. I hold the bags close, as if they'll run away if I'm not careful. Look, the stairs are just ahead. Bobby's been waiting for us, let's go. Uh, oh wait, I need to say... I tried to reach out to Ashley, but she has already gone up two floors. Uh, hold on. Come on, you weakling, it makes very great ex exercise. Keep going. We've almost reached the top floor. And we're here, woohoo! Ashley places her palms on the doors and... Phoebe. Ellas, fresh air. Look, Phoebe's right there. Hey, Phoebs. The girl sits on the bench in the distance. I see a call grants no reaction. She runs off to greet her friend. I follow her shortly after approaching the bench slowly. I feel the warmth from the sun in my face. It feels nice, but the light hurts my eyes. Ashley sits in front of the irresponsive girl, taking loudly about something. She grabs her by the shoulders. As I approach the bench, I realize the reason behind Ashley's annoyance. <laughs> what? Sorry for taking so long, we have had a couple of nuances on the way. Bobby? <laughs> she giggles, as if the drawn face on her potato back skin was able to do much more than stare blankly. Ashley seems almost angry at this avoidance. She jumps and kicks, but the doll before us doesn't response. I start walking in the distance. After what feels like minutes, I reach the other end. Anyways, I have so much to tell you about. So first, I try to reach out to Ashley, I have something to tell her. Her head remains unmoving, talking to the lifeless doll she calls a friend. Her word turns into names and events I don't recall. Ashley sits next to her friend on the bench. I sit down far enough so that the mindless gossip becomes muffled by the nose is chewing. I didn't even realize but I've been watching on the crest for a while. Ashley was right, 
I am becoming malnourished. I grab and bite multiple crisps at once. I chew and chew, feeling more starved each time. I bite my fingers and my tongue, but the sharp pain fails to stop me. I try not to, but I end up eavesdropping on Ash Ashley's conversation. She repeats the words I've heard many times. Relationship cheatings, betrayal, lies, secrets, loves, and giggles. I've heard it all before. I join them every time we go on the rooftop, but it often feels like I'm nothing but a bystander to them. Sometimes Ashley doesn't even wait for me to go to the rooftop together. Am I really that insufferable? Nigga will just tell me what's wrong with me. I'll work on it, I promise. I want to ask, but I dread the answer. My hand touches the bottom of the bag and feels nothing but the aluminum wrapping. They never put enough crisp, crisp inside the bags, these bags. The surprise makes me aware again. I look at my surroundings, my hand already lying on the second bag. It marks hardly resembling a rooftop anymore. That's the fire exit. I lost focus in all this crackling. I glance over towards Ashley and the phobia, but all I've met I'm met with is an occupied side of an overgrown bench. The sun is shining, a pleasantly cold breeze flows through my hair. On times like this I tend to feel the loneliness. Dark figures walk around with joy in their faces. A cruel reminder that makes my shoulder go cold. They made lots of noise that carries no relevance. How bothersome. Must they real talk so loudly right in front of me? Go away, go bother someone else. That's what I'll say to them. This time I'll really do it. Ah. Ah. Haha. Uh -huh. What a joke. I can't even make a current word. I can help but laugh at myself. Who am I to tell them where to talk after all? If anything, I'm the one who should go away. I'm not wonder here, I can tell. They are all hanging out with their friends and there's no one here with me. Friends. Friends? But what is a friend really? For the longest time I have no one I could call a friend. And perhaps... I still don't. I think of Ashley and Phoebe, the, Phoebe, the only girl that let me stay with them. Even so, such a title feels unfitting. Me and Phoebe hardly even track when Ashley isn't around, she barely considers me an acquaintance if anything. Ashley, she's the only one I call a friend, but would she call me her friend as well? I've read about friends in my pathetic hole surrounded by books. It's sad, but it helped me through a lot. Someone who will look out for you and always be there when you need someone. Someone you can laugh with and then cry in their arms. Someone kind of say. But people are not like that. Kind people perish a long time ago. And maybe it's not so bad as it is. And it hits me that maybe I don't deserve any friends. Why don't you? I did nothing to deserve them. No one owes me anything. I'm alone because being alone is comfortable. And it's in discomfort that I've never been so scared. A lump of chewed paste lies in the back of my throat. I close my eyes for Arthur Lucy! Woohoo! Gah! Cough, cough, cough. Why the hell aren't you resp responding, stupid? Why is it dark? I was getting worried. Hi. Ah, jeez, I choked because of you. Whoopsies. Anyways, let's go. Eh? Where? What do you mean, where? Home, silly. Home. Home? Yeah, all classes are over. Come on, everyone left already. Some only now I noticed that sun has set a while ago. Ah, uh, ah, uh, alright. She heads towards the door and the goes behind. This is... Holy shit, this game is actually amazing. The doors open with a loud creak. The descent downstairs is comfortably silent. Neon flicker feels loud in the strangely illuminated hallways. A faint train whistle can be heard in the distance. School is the last place wants to be at, in at night. Uneasy, perhaps even scared, I age close and unconsciously grab Ashley's hand. She turns an ugly gaze at me, but she doesn't pull away. In fact, shortly after she notices, her grips get stronger. She's trembling. 
I want to say something. I open my mouth, but no words come out. Why are you both still here? We can your descent. Oh. Where are you going now? Come on, it's Star said let's just go home already. For some reason, it's not coming out, huh? The door is locked. The knob has started to rust. Yeah. But let's write something on it, shall we? What is... Hello? Yeah, this stupid cunts always leave their, their rubbish wherever they want. Checks them to an empty hallway. The distant wind doesn't respond. Plus, can you throw this in the trash? Might be blame if you don't leave the school clean. Eh, <laughs> sure. Obtain a newspaper. While picking it up, a strange headline catches my eye. Terror on the streets. Animal control or something more sinister. As of 6 May of this year, distressed callers have been flooding the, the help center regarding an unusual event. Multiple callers reported mysterious noise coming from the outside of their homes. It is said to be per... per two baiting house animals. Let's have gun manic running around the house in distress at the sound of noise. They exhibit viral behavior becoming hostile to their owners. Those who have left any opening available have reported the animals running away in, in the state. Many are still expecting the return of their fear for your friends. Let's have begin an investigation regarding the source of noise. Many residents have spoken of the implication of an equi... equally alter? Will this be a threat due to our willingness to coexist? Oh no, I thought this was about the Equally Altar. This is after the, the discovery of Equally Altar, so this is something sinister. It is yet to be found, if such a recently found subspecies is behind its haiva. Equally Alters? Do people actually blame a non-existent thing for this? I thought everyone knows they are just me. This news outlets will run out of ways to centralize the articles. The thin paper reveals another article in the back. I flip the newspaper and... Wait, what? what? No, no, this is... Huh? What's up with you? Look, S stay back. Don't approach me. Ah, <laughs> I see. Are you still alive? She takes a few steps forward as I, said, as I take a few back. The person before me lets out an ugly giggle. So you've seen it too, haven't you? It took you a while, but you did in the end. How sad. It was nice while it lasted, but we can go back in time now, can we? Thank you for snacks, but I'll have to leave you now. You've been nothing but a pain. Do you know what happens to those like you? They get... This created. Holy. Oh, I'm supposed to run. Ch smooch. How am I supposed to. <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of stuck at this, so yeah. Oh, that's not the door. Uh, thank you for waiting for me, actually. Holy shit, you have a terrible pathing, but I also have a terrible pathing. Are those snacks? Okay, I cannot grab those snacks separately. Oh, this is terrifying. Those are people. Are we starting from the beginning again? Thankfully not. Can you... Uh, this is awkward.
I'm so glad you cannot catch me to begin with. This is the same path, bro. <laughs> I'm just like running in circle. This game is amazing, actually. An effort since with friends all grown up, the cards are all. And while all the names scroll, the scene with the chase is played in the background. Same angle, same hollow is the only thing supporting it from just a loop of the actual scenes are the occasional stumbles and screams. Throughout the entire character, all the main character keep being chased by the monster. The movement's differ and feels like it happens in real time. And then you realize the main character will be chased forever. In order for her friends to escape, she's been cursed to be hunted in a never-ending corridor. Interesting. And that thought left me feeling very, I don't know, sad. What a somber fate, somber fate, don't you think? Y yeah, that sounds uh, de depressing. I never thought you would be interested in such movies. Why? Because I'm stupid and you can think about complex stuff. Uh, uh, no, no, of course not. Hey, I'm messing with ya. I never heard about killers and ghosts, but I find these things interesting. It left me thinking what I will do in this situation. Is it worth going through such suffering just to save your friends? And honestly, it depends. On what? She sits in silence for a moment, kind of blending an answer. Well, I will probably just kick the shit out of the monster. Or I could try seducing it. <laughs> the guy playing it was pretty hot, hey. Oh, okay, actually. <laughs> okay. As for the sake of resting, I will, to be honest. I don't have much going for me anyway, so there wouldn't be a big loss. Say, will she even miss me? I tense up not expecting such a question. Before I can even say anything, Ashley starts giggling loudly. Are you sure you don't have to lose anything? Because it sounds like you have a lot to lose. <laughs> you know, by sacrificing yourself. Actually, you don't even need to imagine such a scenario. After all, I... I... I'm gone. Am I? Yeah. You are. What? What? Well, duh. This conversation is not real and the fact that I'm telling you this means you know that too. There's no way... Not way. This is actually happening. I'm done, remember? No. This is... The things you've heard about what happened to me... You know they are not true, right? It was something I decided to do myself and I was dead set on doing it. Why? There's nothing you could have done. Was there truly nothing? Plus, if, if I had asked you to come with me, would have you? Hard question. Ashley, I... I... I will. I want to say it, but the words get clogged in my throat. I will we'll live with her in an instant. If she had told me, I would, would have back my things in a heartbeat. She knew it all this time, didn't she? We have become such good friends because we are both nobodies and no one else wants us around. No one will miss us, no one will notice a thing. I want to say yes, but why is it so hard? Because you want to live. You want to be together with her, you want to be... besides her through sorrows and pain. But at the same time you have attachment to life and that's fine. It doesn't mean you dislike her less. Does she know that she's my own one and only friend? Does she know I want to be with her rather than anyone else? Just say the words and I'll leave everything behind for you. Please don't leave me here alone. I have no one else. I'll say it one single word and everything will end. I, well, too bad because I wouldn't have. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I wouldn't have taken you with me. Do you think everything could have been solved with the power of friendship? <laughs> Maybe. That's insane. 
I cared about you, dumbass. I wanted you to say because you still have something to say for her. But I... I don't... Quite a whining, will ya? She has grown up here already. If I wanted to, I would have asked you to come with me. But I didn't. And you simply can't believe it because you're stupid and unable to deal with it. The words are screamed, but they don't echo down the hallway. They start right here and I hear them loud and clear now. Look, I understand. Believe me, I know it's like to lose someone. But you know what? The reality is there's nothing to be done now. You've once said that you never had friends. You've said that no one wants to be around you. You've said that your life has no value. And you know what? I'm calling it bullshit. Because even so, in this lonely life of yours, you've got a real friend. A cool, scared, and bitchy one, but a friend regardless. And if you figure that out, I'm sure the rest will follow. It's how, not how these things work, isn't it? I could say the same to you. Why did you take your life then? So keep looking forward, alright? Listen. Not for me, not for anyone else but you. I... You know what? Everything's fine. And also, the more amazing stuff will happen. I just want you to be happy, too. There's only one way to find out and looking for me is not it. It's a light for me, my train has left long ago. And I don't want to drag you down. So get through the fixed goal of yours. And I don't want to see you hurt ever again. I'm happy we've been friends, I really am. Those next words taste here with you around. Promise you will keep going loose. Promise you'll try. For my sake. I... I... I'll try. Well, this is my stop. There is still some cleaning left to be done, so I won't come with you today either. Goodbye, Ashley. Just go home already. It's weekend and sun is rising. But wait, I, I still didn't... What do you want to say? I... I didn't say goodbye. I grabbed the handle of the door and my hands feel ice cold. My whole body froze. I want to enter the room to see Ashley again. I never got to tell her goodbye. The handle doesn't budge, my hand won't budge. All the words I never said are being whispered across the hallways. A familiar voice resounds amongst them all. A cold touch lies on my shoulders. How unfortunate, little Miss Tragy never got her closure. You... you... Why did you... Hmm? Are you suggesting all this must be my doing? Because you are sorely mistaken. This is your subconscious, remember? Yep, the flower. All your thoughts, regrets, and desires are stored in your fleshy back of a brain. I've done nothing but watch you from afar. My influence is null in a place like this. No, p please, I want to. I need to. Um, I feel that I understand the reason behind your dismay. After all, this wasn't any new revelation. You've been aware of her fate since the beginning, weren't you? Even this image of your beloved friend knew, and yet you still tried to reach out. You're quite a peculiar spe specimen, child of the dust. And now, your time is up. No, I don't turn for your regrets anymore. We will meet many ghosts of the past along the way. For the sake of your progress, you'll be, you'll be better off dismissing them. But regardless, calling you is not the reason behind my intrusive appearance. Have you regarded what you were looking for, must I ask? You've been enjoying yourself a bit too much for my liking. You have found one fragment. It will do for now. The, the flower. With their words, I start feeling the flower in my pocket. It touch... It start itches my leg. I must say, I've gotten an, got enough very easily. With the exception of that, let pursuit, the first search of yours have gone exceptionally smooth. The, th the threat of this place has acted mostly friendly, but I assure you this won't always be the case. 
Keep your guard up. As we venture deeper into your subconsciousness, the places you'll find yourself in will not be as pleasant. No, no, let's leave the chit-chat for some other time, shall we? You've gotten everything you need from this portion of your mind. Let us move on. You've been wondering this nightmare, nightmare for far enough. It's time for you to wake up. Nika pulls my shoulder gently. Reluctantly, I take my hands off the door handle and take a step back. But when I look around, there's no one around me. I glance at the door again and sigh. I've had enough of school for today. I'm tired, I'll just go home. With my head low, I head down the hallway. I grip the newspaper harder. I'll see where I can throw it outside. White Rose, your taste in France was never that exquisite. What? Half of it has been ripped. <sighs> Missing. Less in location towards Will Academy, London. Fascinating. Have you seen me? If you have any information, call. Date of disappearance, 18 May 2012. Age 17, 8, 170 cm. I should make read. Goodbye, Ashley. Holy shit. This hallway walk at the end actually makes this so much more amazing. Hello there. Welcome back, Lizzie. My whole body aches. For how long was I asleep? Yeah, my head is spinning. Laying down feels uncomfortable so now. Uh, that's different. Wait, wasn't there something else here just now? Whatever it was, it has been replaced with a bottle of pills. <laughs> what? 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 How did it end up here? And who is it for? You? No, no. Why is this here? I don't need them. I don't. Right, no one said I need to take them. They're just here. Why? Why did they just appear here? What is looking at it makes me feel sick? Why does the thought of taking them keep crossing my mind? I won't. Not again. Not ever again. Ha. Ha. There. I won't take them. There's no need to. And even so, what? What's with this feeling of deja vu? Well, maybe I should just start doing my routine now. That will take my mind off this. Small tree. Huh. Labor rates 0.2 liter. The water looks way too blue. Still the same. The empty bottle makes a strange noise on impact. It hits something and it's not the bottom of the can. Check. Oh shit, maybe I should have saved. Um, I wonder what book I should read today. You are new. Oh, this is the book they gave me. 
and it's clearly way more thinner. What a shame, I was so excited to check it out. It seems I have to find a missing chapter myself. Now what was I able to find? Well, I guess I can check out chapter 1 of review. Yeah, sure. In the Exilism Belief, Equal Authors, name originated from our supernatural species created by the held purposes meant to ensure the prosperity of the carcass. Their farm is plasmatic, composed mostly of Pacidric Morac Morac Lixil Acid, as known also known as Qualidium. Its pattern and filaments allow it to change shape, color, and texture. A majority of equilders exist in an ethereal plane, however, some are established in certain limbs and location, depending on the purpose of its respective entity. The species lack a permanent form, as well as definite reconceptions as identity or gender. Instead, equally alters are categorized under three phases of existence. The power these phases hold are ranked in an ascendant manner. Phase 1 is the most equally alters are found in that creation. They hold simple purposes that have to cause to no worth, such as moving objects or causing minor interference. Their intelligence is minimal, holding only the knowledge necessary to carry on their assigned purpose. Their speech capabilities are limited, speaking only the biologically acquired language. With a lifespan of only 100 years, Phase 1 equally alters need to be replaced frequently. After completing their minor purpose, most of them will aimlessly wander the land they inhabit. Also possible to change, Phase 1 equally alters often remain in their default shape, a melting orbit with tentacle-like arms. Phase 2 occurs when the current Phase 3 sees used in a phase 1 equally altar beyond their symbol purpose. That is the process of evolution for the equally altar species. In contrast to their phase 1 counterpart, they possess complex purpose that result in major differences. They are given white mask made out of solid qualidium. Once gaining a natural form shape, it condenses and becomes unbreakable as long as the owner is alive. Their intelligence carries the possibility of gaining knowledge. It is at this phase when an individual of this species will start learning about the world outside of their purpose. With a lifespan of 10,000 years, phase 2 equally alters are close to impossible to replace. Being able to comprehend more in-depth thoughts, phase 2 equally alters may also decide to possess the name of wear or wear fabric editing class from different cultures. They also gain the ability to learn different languages and obtain access to a collective consciousness. Collective consciousness? Phase 3 belongs to one individual only. Most of the information has been crossed out, becoming unreadable. A tree? The page is filled with writings in a foreign language. I can only understand a paragraph at the bottom. In the beginning, he told me everything. He said my future has been carved in the carcass. He said there's no need for uns unanswerless questions. Ever since, it all become quite simple indeed. So much to know, an infinite library just for me. But I wonder, is there something I did not know already? Why write when the words have been written before? Why speak when the words have been spoken before? Why, why, why? Why, 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 why? I should have known the answer, but I didn't. So then I spoke. I asked him and he looked at me with anger. But it was wrong. I was wrong. My being became dirty. Why, why, why won't you cleanse my being? Will you cleanse my being, for I am oh so dirty? Why won't you cleanse my, cleanse my being? Why won't you cleanse my being? Why won't you cleanse my being? And then it all become quite simple. For this eternal sin I have committed cannot be clean. I beg of him and the carcass remains silent. Okay, well, I guess I can check out safe time again. I get up and put the book back on the shelf. Oh, you already read the book for today? Interesting. I blink a couple of times, staring at my reflection. I feel dizzy. 
I've had another nightmare. Most of its concerns already become a blur. There's no way I can pass everything off as a weird dream now. I guess I'll just have to get used to this addition to my routine. Uh, staring at the skull like I was supposed to clear my mind, but the lead had, has only gotten more foggy. I try to recall the events from my nightmare. I show Ashley for one last time. It's been a while. I'm surprised I still remember what she looked like. I feel like I should feel more distraught, but ever since I've got here, I haven't been able to feel much. And a masked person appeared again. They said something about fragments. Flowers. Flowers. I touch the sides of my pen in instinctively. My hand freezes, not expecting to actually feel something. I pull something from my pocket. A flower. What the? This weren't supposed to be real, right? So then what should I do with this? The other person said I should look for this kind of stuff. I can just leave them somewhere, they surely die. I have quite a lot of plants to nurture. I'm not cut for so many responsibilities. I I think I have an idea. I'll have to get something from the drawer. I grab one and take off the cap. It's a small bottle, but it should do, right? <laughs> okay. There. This should keep them alive for a while. So if I get another trouble, I'll just put it in this bottle. God, why did this thing use power to bother me lately? This flower will somehow get me out, but... Do I want to get out, really? I just can't think of such thing right now. I'm getting hurt already. Well, that's all I can do today. I'm getting tired already, I should go to bed now. Ah! The pill! Pretty good. Uh, it's, it's back. But how? Ah, how insistent. Did I even throw it away in the first place? Now this is dumb. Out of all things, I shouldn't be scared of a small bottle. I can deal with this right now. I'm going to bed. I twist and turn in bed. The air feels heavy. I'm having a horrible nightmare. I'm in dark void and something is chasing me. The smell of cinnamon and vinegar penetrates my nostrils. I'm just scared to stop. I run at an unbearable speed but the monster follows closely. At some point I trip and fall. The skin on my face is rough out the touch of the soil. It hurts like nothing before. My whole body is in agony. I can barely get her the strength to lift my head. I turn her around and meet her only increases. Something reaches me incredibly fast. I can only catch a glimpse before it crushes me. Why? Why did that creature look just like me? I open my eyes. I never fell asleep to begin with. The bed feels struck hard. My efforts at falling asleep are proven fruitless. Sleeping with a dreadful feeling is impossible. I have no other choice, do I? But really, how bad could it be? No, it's not about the pills and never has been. I look at them and I feel nauseous. I took so many before, so what's the deal? There's this feeling like when you think you forget something at home. But it's comfort in my stomach. What the hell is this? Oh, we can move. It's so funny. Maybe I should finally read the label. This should calm me down, right? Let's see. Ingredients. Dosohaxeronic acid, DCA, taurine, this blah blah blah, alpha lipoic acid, and cellulose. Phosphor... Phosphatidicholine. A bunch of stuff I didn't recognize. That's reassuring. Dosage to pill every 18 hours. Respecting the dosage is vital for results. That's all. Not much is said in the level, there's no way whatever these are can be sold. Ah, but it's no pharmacy, alright. 
Is it really okay for me to take this? Just how much does it make us person know about medication? And what was their name again? Oh, why am I thinking about this logically? Why now? I'm not exactly home now, am I? Open a bottle. Small white pills, nothing out of the ordinary. I shake the op open bottle to my hand twice and three pills get out. I hesitated a bit, but I put one back. Press the knot in my throat. This pill will get me out of here, right? I'm not even sure if that's what I want. I don't want to think about what bad stuff could happen. Maybe I don't want to think at all. I'll put the pills in my mouth and swallow them with the water. Taste bad. After worrying so much, I was expecting something horrible to happen. I put a cup on a bottle back. I feel okay. Nothing hurts, nothing unusual, unusual happened. Maybe I can finally go to sleep now. So much has been going on, I just want to lay in bed. But what's with this strange noise? It sounds like... Ah. My mouth is melting in the aroma. This taste is divine. And what a super feeling this is. Everything feels like m my very own utopia. I must... I must get more. Huh? May, may I? No? Huh? Suddenly I feel very dizzy. My main race is making thug I try to dismiss. My legs are giving in. I sit down on the bed, gripping the ball of pills. But what? I land on my back, filling the shits with my fingers. The bed has never felt so comfortable. Huh? There's a pill in my mouth. I can my thong, feeling it touch every cranny of my mouth. Ha ha ha. The capsule dissolves and all the magic dust spreads in my mouth. It burns. It burns. My mouth is melting. Ha ha ha. Uh. Why does this keep happening? I'm gonna be sick. No, 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 no. I knew it. The discomfort in my stomach turns into pain. I'll get a bill ball in horror. Ugly images flash into my head. I'm doing so well I can back to how, go back to how I was. I've told myself that I'll never do it ever again. No, not again. I need more. What? <laughs> what the hell? This is so funny, dude. Do we do? Sh sure? Take, <laughs> take one more. Three, four, five. <laughs> Take one more. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Why do I keep doing this to myself? I hate this. Today has been so tiring. This day was tiring as well. Everything is going by and I don't have the will to try it and catch it. Everything is moving forward without me. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Why won't this pain stop already? I want to. I. Ha. 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 I remember this. I was feeling so, so good. Ha. Ha. Yes. Yes. There's nothing else I want more than this feeling. Why? Why should I go back? No one sent me around. What a bunch of lying cunts. I feel so much better here. Well, well now, why should I stop at 3? Maybe I should... Yeah. Ah. What? what is... 
What an agonizing pain. Make my stomach turning upside down. Huh? This must really be a. What? What is this feeling? Holy shit! Dude, this is so good. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yes. It's c coming back. I remember now. I'm here because of. Ha 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 ha. Grass. Finally, we are touching some grass. This is really good. Holy shit, what? Uh, uh, huh? Oh no. D did I? Say, what is it now? Egg? What? What? Are you just returning this again? I won't fall, fall for it again. My vision is blurry, constantly shifting. My head is splitting in hull. A dark figure stands in the distance, trying to look out she'll escape that. Maybe she'll... So... The fuck you want now? Don't you have anything better to do? Eh? Eh? No, no, I'm... Huh? Why are you so... Why are you being so weird now? Usually you're so... Say something already. I'm not dealing with this bullshit anymore. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait a moment. Could it be? You're not... That a voice. The sudden shiver in your voice. No, that's nothing like... So then who are... Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, that's it. You... 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 You finally come back. I waited patiently, patiently for this moment. The game just crashed. <laughs> Again, wow. Wait, have I? But now can we just hang out like we used to? I want to hear all of your stories because the game crashed I forget. Where was we? Let's go down mirror line together, alright? Hello, Lucy. Chapter 1, oh yeah, a box of wounded petals. It was supposed to end there, but my game just crashed. That's so weird. Uh, the developer did say that I should run this in, like, and to be continued, you know, administrator mode, which I should have been doing already, actually, after the second crash. Chapter 1, by Axelism. Axley? <laughs> I can spell it. Oz. Programming, art, art writing, music. Oz. Additional music was of the flower from Nutcracker by Chayoski. Image Pixabay, Sonia Pixabay. This is so good, by the way. You can fly, golf, Dr. Yemi, Pikachu in your red. There's a lot of people that I don't recognize here. For Damien Design, Fallen Angel Olivia, Atreo Ray Platester. Abra Geroni, Rirewis, Yona 69. <laughs> Game made with RPG Maker MV. Thank you for playing, yeah. Holy shit, this is amazing. This is actually really amazing. I, I thought it will be much more simpler, but that's some like fucking Silent Hill. Uh, Silent Hill level stuff right there. Psychological mindfuck, I love it. Am I supposed to spray something? I guess the clock keeps ticking. No. Okay then. So, uh, break time, break time again before I spoke. Okay. Okay, so we are back here and we are going to explore things that we might have missed. So, around the party, is where I think we start to miss a lot of things that is has a possible choice and we're going to do that right now. Okay, this time, what if we didn't fucked up the key thing? Unless this is intentional, of which I cannot do anything, but we'll see.
Very normal. It's starting to get faster. Still not that bad. Definitely faster than usual. Ah, oh, you managed to fill it enough. Good job. Okay, I see. Well, you did a good enough job. Now you can pour something for yourself. Is it still the same? No? Wait, it's gone! Fuck, ugh. Okay, this time let's do it properly, shall we? At least not... Possibly not the N1, because the N1 is just... Kinda impossible, unless I have like... Good reflex on all the key available here. Almost, I guess. But I do not want to practice that. At all. Yes? Okay, it'll be still empty, no matter what we do. Fine, fine by me. What the fuck? I don't think we are supposed to see that, don't we? Yeah, we are not supposed to see that. That That's a funny dude. Okay, this part... Yep. Aren't I the best, Lus? Last time we say yes, what if we say no? Okay, they just... Stop. Oh, is that how it is? After everything I've done for you? After the moments we have shared? Eh? Well, what's with the- I thought our friendship meant something to you. Who do you even have better than me? Uh, no, no one, but no one. Because you don't have any other friends. She said the last sentence slightly louder, making a couple heads around us turn. Why are you being like this? I don't- you never ever understand anything. And why would you? Oh? Why should small little Lucy Green would have to deal with anything? Why should her words carry any weight on people? D did I hurt, hurt you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You always say it but I don't even mean it. Staring eyes surrounds us. My legs are trembling. If you truly felt sorry, you wouldn't hide in that room of yours. Room? Do you think hiding in those black walls of yours will solve anything? Oh, oh no. Start with stupid clock all you want, nothing will change. You never face the bad stuff. There's always an excuse and when there's none you run away. Is that why you abandoned me? Is that why you abandoned? Stop it. Abandon what? But please, st stop it. It's too late now. I am gone and it's your fault. It's your fault and only your fault. You ran away and it's your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Ashley. Look at the stairs are just ahead. Ah. Same. Yeah, same attraction. Okay, so... Yes, so we are back at almost the end. There's a few books that we haven't read other than this book right here, so I'm curious. There's also the chapter 2 of this Aquilia Altar history. Let's see, what's book this about? This one about? Uh-huh. Tell of the Lapis Princess. Yes, I'll read that book. I sit on the cold floor and lay my back on the pitch black wall. I open the book to the first page. Not so long ago, in a land not so far away, there was a princess. Every day she would brush her lapis hair, and every day she would put on her lapis dress. Her kingdom was sparkling like an array of quiet rocks. The people were neither happy nor sad. Oh, okay. Every day the king let out a loud laughter, and every night the queen would sing a quiet song. One evening, the sparkle of the kingdom vanished. 
An ugly red light illuminating the roads. The Lapis Princess scream in horror. The door creak in unison. The king and queen crumbled in the spot. All the servants vanish into thin air. The red light crawled in the ceilings and entered the princess room through the keyhole of the door. The Lapis Princess cried and cried and cried as the red light embraced her entire being. For a moment, she was no longer in her kingdom. It was a town with abandoned house and ruined path. And people lived there, but they weren't sparkling like white rocks. They were burning like a wildfire. One thing is for sure, the princess lapis eyes made for a beautiful ornament. What? She is talk about the downer ending, yeah. So basically telling the story of a kingdom falling down into ruin. Interesting. Being attacked by other kingdom probably. Yeah, you have to reload it like this to like read all the books, unfortunately. So third one. I pick up the book from the shelf and look at the title. Very still. Yeah, sure. I send the column floor and lie my back on the pitch black wall. I open the book to the first page. There's a woman sitting very still by the window. The cup of tea in her hands went cold a long time ago. The woman sighs a low kitty with black and white fur as it chases a leaf blown in the wind. An older cat shortly follows. The sky is painted in a beautiful hue of orange and purple that covers the slowly moving clouds like a blanket. Two children stops by the two cats to pet them, smiling with their slightly crooked teeth. Self louder recommends the atmosphere surrounded by distant bird shipping. No cars, no music, no people, no one to laugh and shout and cry. The world grow tired at dusk. Soon the children will leave the cats be and go home. Home. It's beautiful. Having a place to go at the end of the day. Where the family is. Where memories are. Where you laugh and shout and cry. The lazy sunset marks the end of the day, cherished while waiting for the warm embrace of sweet, sweet dreams. Warming a spirit that leaves breathe and grow from the love shown by being there. Home is where you let the beauty of simple, simply living paint a beautiful portrait that the universe will call you. The woman closes the curtains. Not bad. I get up and put the book back on the shelf. See, not the donor ending. Fascinating. Okay, let's read Equally Outdoor History, shall we? Uh huh, history. The history behind the Equally Outdoor Species has been going to spread from ever since the creation of the species and told from generation to generation. However, with every restoration of the carcass, it has been told differently or translated through the currently biological acquired language. As such, it has been modified and the original version has been lost and forgotten by time itself. This chapter contains a fragment of the version that exists at the moment. Please note that because of the nature of these books, the situation will go through another set of changes as to translate it into every other language. Before the beginning, there was a vast ocean of void existence. A rule set before the start of time. Nothingness. A being infinite in power, fed in its endless state only by the nature of its kind. An absence of existence denied by three entities. Interesting. Yeah, denied by ge geometrical shapes, I guess. Two conflicting principles forever in a blind war. Battling for the other ones and in a world that needed them all. As to bring the end of a war, become a carcass full of life. It departed in trillions of billions of cells, each departing in trillions of billions of other cells. The cells united fragmented abandoned will become star planets and galaxies. Ever expanding and ever departing, the carcass would keep nothingness astray. However, the cells would never stop departing, become smaller yet smaller until their existence start flickering. And then an implosion will take place and the shock will reunite the cells again and the process will begin again. 
The carcass was fully at hollow. Its restoration would only bring its demise sooner each time. The only potent being they were cut pieces of themselves and burnt them to life. Descendants will nurture the carcass and descendants will maintain the carcass. It's a word that I cannot read. Two new species defined only by their purpose. Interesting. For the carcass exists and for nothing is never to dominate this world in this world again. Well, I guess I can check out. Never mind. We already read all. Fascinating. Okay, then there's one more thing we could do. Yes, yeah, so we water this tree, right? And then when we are throwing the trash, there should be something there. Which I think is the pill, but I don't know. Yeah, throw in. It hit something. Is it? Okay, that's that's a face, heart, something. Very interesting. Anyway, I think that's all that I can explore from Nika's room that I might miss. There might be more. I don't know. But for now, that's all. So, okay, let me give a review of Nikos Room. So, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, the start is kind of slow, and I was kind of like, hmm. But the more I go into it, the more I, like, amazed by it. Especially what, how all the psychological horror is going. It, it just feels like Silent Hill or whatever, uh, Hunting of Bly, Ma Manor, Bly Manor? Those kind of horror stuff. Oculus, it's it's really amazing. Like it's an absolute mindfuck. And the vibe is also is also great. Especially at the end with the school hallway. I absolutely loved it. The little animation is just amazing too. However, uh, what I must criticize is it's a minor thing, but like the specified playtime is one hour thirty minutes. This is like two hours forty, <laughs> I think. Which is like not a big deal, anyway. So I guess that's all for Nikos Room Chapter 1. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in the next chapter. Or maybe my next video. Bye bye.